Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna give you guys my review of the iPhone 6. Now, one of the first things you might notice is this large 4.7 inch screen, which I think a lot of Apple iPhone users in the past are gonna be really excited about. On top of that, I think people who have Android devices are also gonna be excited about downsizing to a smaller device of a premium smartphone. Now other than a new screen, other improvements that you might notice is a louder speaker in the bottom right portion of the iPhone 6 itself. Like myself, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of speakers definitely welcome compared to iPhones before this one. HTC has demonstrated on a number of its recent smartphones it's launched. Positioning the speakers on the front of the smartphone provides the best overall experience for the users. Now with that said, I haven't had any issues with the audio coming from the bottom portion of the unit itself. The volume of the speaker produces is clear and acceptable for my day-to-day -day needs. The camera is great. A couple key aspects I really like about this camera is the fast shutter speed, the fast focus, and the accurate colors that it produces when taking pictures. Now don't look to get two days of battery life out your iPhone 6. You will get better battery compared to the iPhone 5S. Now users who get the iPhone 6 should be prepared to get at least one day of usage under moderate usage. Now if you think the camera's great, the video camcorder is even better. This bad boy shoots in 1080p and you wouldn't believe that this video came from a smartphone camera. Now I thought the iPhone 5S was thin, but the iPhone 6 is thinner. But one thing that you might not know is the iPhone 6 has really good weight distribution so you don't have to worry about dropping that device when you're pulling your phone in and out of your pocket. All right, so let's talk about the design of the iPhone 6. Now, I'm the first to say that the iPhone 6 design is born. I'm going to say that again. The iPhone 6 design is born. Now, the rounded edges, it doesn't say much in terms of a design language, as far as I'm concerned. Now, the first time I laid eyes on the Apple iPhone 4, my jaws dropped. And I definitely can't say the same about the iPhone 6. Now let's move around to the back side of the iPhone 6. I am greeted with these hideous antennas, which are unattractive, but are not a big deal since I'm going to put a case on it anyway. Now let's talk about the HTC M7 and M8. Now hear me out. I was also greeted with these antennas of this aluminum smartphone. But I found myself, as well as the tech community, to be very forgiving of the design. At the end of the day, function is more important than design. But it's almost impossible to follow up on the design of the iPhone 5S. Sadly to say, the one design feature I really like about this phone is the curved glass edges of the display, which are covered up by my case. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my review. Just to kind of recap, a couple items that I wanted to kind of just remind you guys of is the iPhone 6 has the perfect size screen, the speaker's great, the camera's amazing, and the battery is a big improvement over last year's model. Also, uh, the weight and how thin a device is is just perfect. So. That's really going to wrap it up. The only gripe I really had was the design of the iPhone 6. Well, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.